We're gonna go get beer. During the lockdowns last year, I fell in love with this small gluten-free brewery right outside of Portland called Beerly Brewing. And they make fantastic beers. They're all really rich and full-bodied and incredible flavors. It's just, they're so much fun to drink. And it was really cool. So during the lockdowns, he delivered, uh, JP, who owns a brewery, um, he delivered once a week. And so it was an opportunity to try out all the different beers that they make. And they're all fantastic. So now that things have opened up a little bit, we thought it would be fun to take a little field trip. So why don't you come along for the ride? We're on a field trip for a gluten-free bagels and donuts and beer. So we drove like an hour from Portland to come down because they make the best down here. So can't wait to show you. We're in downtown McMinnville, across the street from Beerley, and we thought we'd go on in and see what they've got cooking. All right, here we are inside Beerley, and we get to check out which beers they have on tap, and what donuts they have, and bagels that they've made this weekend. They make all kinds of uh, baked goods from scratch every weekend. So today, it's an apple cider. I think they're filled with uh, apples from a neighbor's apple orchard, the donuts, and they um, also have a cinnamon sugar and I believe three different kinds of bagels and then they hand glaze all of the donuts when they're done They just put this incredible powdered sugar glaze on top Everything is so good. Oh, yeah, look at those donuts and the bagels And then at the table we decided that we would each get something so my husband got the apple cider donuts My mom got the cinnamon sugar donut I got this incredible platter of uh, hummus and deep fried pita bread. Oh, there's Jay with his apple filled donut, yum. And I, oh my gosh, the soft pretzels are unbelievable. They come with different dips. I picked the dill mustard and it was something I hadn't had in a long time. So good. So let's go ahead and talk to JP. Oh, that's okay. I'm here with J.P. Beerley in his laboratory. I don't know if you can see, but this is where he makes all his amazing gluten-free beer. And I just wanted to get like a few minutes of, you know, can you tell us a little bit about your beer and yeah. what you do and for- uh, There's the uh, Black Hall chiller coming on. <laughs> <laughs> it always does that. Uh, so we are a gluten-free brewery, dedicated gluten-free. Uh, and um, I have a real passion for German-style beers. Uh, now that's, you know, according to some, not technically possible because we're not using any barley, uh, but we do use hops, we use yeast, uh, and then we use the malted millet, malted rice, and malted buckwheat in those. Um, I mash like a German, so I'm doing a three-step uh, infusion mash and hitting all those uh, points like a German would, and that gives the, uh, the beer a chance to really taste nice and full and like beer so yeah awesome you're well you're doing a great job thank you i can't get enough of it thank you you like my english style beers i believe in my belgian style so I, you I you like the stout and the porter which are both in the english tradition uh and i'm a fan of like the vienna lager and i've got a munich dunkel coming out uh right back there i've got a kolsch that i'm oh, working wow. on and wow. we've got a well, hefeweizen we and a uh um, and yeah, uh, we have a sour Berliner Weiss that we have uh, on tap as well. So I have a passion for those German style beers. So good. It's <laughs> so you. good. And it's so fun because it's always something different. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I get to uh, play around. Um, mostly my brewer does the big stuff, yeah. uh, which is the production stuff. And I get to do like the pilot batches that are uh, 10 to 15 gallons as the head brewer and that means I get to come in and play one day a week and and do that so and have fun yeah uh, I mean, you know yeah. brew beer <laughs> <laughs> thank you for doing what you do oh you're welcome I love JP's passion for beer so when we were done at Beerley, we took a stroll down the main street in McMinnville which is in the heart of the Willamette Valley which is our wine country so there's all kinds of tasting rooms and wine bars, cute cafes, adorable little shops, bookstores, uh, all kinds of fun things to do in McMinnville. Make sure you check them out, pay them a visit. 
All right, we're headed back to Portland and we just want to thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you again soon.